Hey, hey, what's going on? What's going on? All right. So if you are watching the replay, make sure you hashtag replay so that I know you were here. My replay squad is everything. I certainly do appreciate you. And you can skip ahead about a minute and a half or so to get to the content. If you're watching this on YouTube, thank you very much. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss anything. So while you're jumping on, hello, hello. While you're jumping on, I'm going to be sharing this out to a few of my favorite spots. And then we're going to get down with the get down. All right, let me make sure I'm working here. I swear one of these days I'm going to get this right. <laughs> it's just not today. Oh my gosh, it is just not today. That's uh, mainly because, you know, I'm rushing and when you rush, you can't think anyway. So, all right. Let me uh, share this out in a couple places and then we're going to get going. So I hope you all are having a great day. Any day above ground, we get to do it all over again. So um, yeah, always make it a great day. All right, there we go. All right, cool. So I wanna welcome you to the show. My name is Lysandra Everett. I am the home biz tax lady where I help home business owners win the tax game. I am here Monday through Friday. And when you tune in, you're gonna hear about tax topics that are important to home business owners. And today I wanna talk about, ooh, y'all and these questions. Okay, so I, you know, I ask every week, uh, if you've been on my, if you follow me on Facebook, if you don't, you need to be following me on Facebook. Um, but I ask every week, what types of tax questions would you like answered in the upcoming week? Right? Because I really want to give you the information that's going to be valuable to you. But this week, somebody responded, well, I don't have any questions now, but I'm going to have questions in February. And February is too late to have tax questions. Okay. This is um, the time from you know October to December, really Q4, is really the time to be asking your last minute tax questions. The reason is that whatever you're going to do to lower your tax bill is going to be done throughout the year. There is nothing you can do come December 31st, 1159 and 59 seconds at midnight, you know, the carriage turns back into a pumpkin, Cinderella's clothes goes back to rags and we starting all over. OK, so, you know, so waiting until tax season to, you know, to ask tax questions is not going to work. The other thing is, is that, you know, as preparers, you know, we're in tax prep mode. We're not in sit down and consult with you mode. OK, because we've got people, we've got our client base that are that needs to get their taxes filed. So you coming to a tax preparer in January or February, you know, expecting us to fix it. That's not what we do. We are not magicians. We are not Harry Potter. All of that is the work that you've done throughout the year. The things that you've done that helps to reduce your tax liability when it comes time to file. People come to us and, you know, think, okay, well, here is all of my stuff. And then when we come and tell you how much you owe, then you want us to make the tech, make the tax liability go down. At that point, you don't need us. You need Jesus. Okay. Because we are not magicians. If you have not done the things that are necessary during the year, if you have not kept proper documentation, if you have not done all of those things throughout the year, if you have not taken the time to consult with a tax professional, on things you can do to, re to reduce your tax liability, then there's nothing we can do, okay? At, you know, after that point, you know, the only thing you can do after uh, December 31st is open an IRA. And if you already got one, well, then there you're screwed too, okay? So don't be sitting here saying, okay, well, I'm just gonna wait till January, February, and when, when I'm trying to fill out my tax return, I'm gonna reach out and call somebody and ask a question. It's not gonna get down like that, okay? Can I tell you, this is a bad idea. And this is what, this is why you wind up overpaying in your taxes. Because if you talk to somebody now, you can, you can figure out if you've had too much taken out, too little taken out, if you save too much, or if you haven't saved enough and you've got time in the fourth quarter to fix it, right? 
But come January 1, there is no fixing. There is no going back. You can't go back and adjust your W-4 to say, okay, I need to have a little bit more money taken out so that I can make sure my tax liability is paid. Or, hey, I've already gotten my tax liability paid. I'm going to have a little bit more money coming home from your job. Or for my business owners, if you look in your tax account and go, oh my gosh, I don't have enough money saved up, for, you know, based on my last year's tax liability, I don't have enough saved up. I need to get to work. Or if you got enough money set aside in your tax account, okay, great. Okay, we need to make sure that tax account is filled. So when it comes time to write that check, you can say, woo, woo, write the check and anything that's left over, you can reinvest in your business or whatever. But come January 1, we as tax preparers, we are not in fix it mode. We are, it's too late and you just gonna have to file and get what you get and get it right for next year mode, okay? Let's not do that. See, this is not what wealthy people do, okay? Wealthy people do not wait until tax season to figure out what they can do to, to reduce their tax liability. They're thinking about it now. They're thinking about it six months ago. And everything they do, they're looking at how can I best minimize my tax footprint? Okay, that's how wealthy people do it. So you can't just sit here and, you know, like I said, come January or, you know, when you file your taxes, you know, and I tell you, you got a $3,000 tax liability and you want me to make it go away. At that point, you need Jesus. You don't need me because I do taxes. I don't perform miracles. I can't make numbers magically disappear, right? So, um, so now is the time. Now is the time to really invest in, uh, you know, sitting down with your tax professional, building a relationship with a tax professional. This is the other thing that we get wrong because, see, when you don't build a relationship with a tax professional, when you do have some problems, you don't know who to call. You need to figure out who to call before you have a tax issue, not when you have one because then you're in panic mode. You don't know who you're getting. You don't know what kind of person that you're getting if you have not taken the opportunity to build relationships with people, to know if they know about your business. Because see, you come and sit this mess in front of us and we gotta figure out what you do, who you are, what you have done, what you haven't done, all of this stuff. When you build a relationship with a tax professional, even if, let me say this, you know, because tax professionals charge different amounts, okay? If you have built a relationship with someone and you say, oh my gosh, I can't afford to, to work with this person, I guarantee you if, you, if you have enough humility to ask, if they will at least give you some resources, okay? At the very least, you'll get some resources, you'll get some books to read, something to study up on or something, right? So, but now is the time to be asking. Now is the time to be investing in talking to a tax professional. Spend the money because the couple hundred dollars that you spend to consult with a tax professional before you need one, number one, is going to save you thousands, okay? It's going to save you thousands. So if it doesn't make any sense to you to invest a couple hundred to save thousands, I can't help you. And then when, when you don't invest a couple hundred to save thousands, it's going to cost you thousands because you're going to wind up in trouble with the IRS and it's going to cost more than a couple hundred dollars to fix it. All right. It, that's, that's just the way it is. So, you know, and it's easier. Listen to me. It is easier for you to figure out how to come up with $200 to $300 than it, than it is for you to come up with $5,000. Do you know that is like the base cost? to deal with tax debt for people, about five grand. And that's not with, that's not even batting the eyelash, okay? Because I, you know, I talk to these people. So, um, so this is why I'm telling you guys, you need to stop with this, oh, I'm a, you know, fix it during tax season. No, you need to be fixing it right now. You need to be looking at your documentation right now. You need to be looking at your income and expenses. And if you have made any money, you need to be looking at that right now. Because if you got to write a check, you need to be able to write said check. Because the last place you want to be is in debt with the IRS. Okay? That's the last place you want to be. So I'm telling you guys, you know, <laughs> just don't. <laughs> right? <laughs> Hello, good morning to everybody that has jumped in. Let me tell you, um, you know, 
it's you know it's it is so easy let me say this it is so easy to try to uh to put this off you know a lot of people put off dealing with taxes out of fear out of fear that they're gonna owe or something like that but and, and a lot of people don't file for that reason they think, think okay if i don't file then nobody's gonna know that i owe and that is not true okay because if you make six hundred dollars with the third party company my affiliate marketers you know my network marketers all of that if you make over six hundred dollars guess what the irs knows because you're going to be getting a 1099 any tax form that you get in the mail from a company a 1099 a w-2 a 1099k guess what a copy of that is sitting at the irs waiting and so there, there is a lot of automation that groups these things together they're saying okay well you know such and such company paid Lysandra six hundred dollars and we've got this 1099 where we're waiting for Lysandra to file her taxes and let's see if this 1099 matches up then after a while they say okay well we still got this outstanding 1099 where's Lysandra's tax return showing this 1099 oh it's not here let's go find her okay so it's not it's not that the IRS doesn't know they know <laughs> right <laughs> They know. So please do not think that by not filing that, you know, nobody's going to know. Okay. Don't think that, um, you know, the IRS won't come for you because it's not a matter of if, but it's a matter of when. And so now is a time for you to be taking a look and saying, okay, am I prepared? Am I not? You know, I, if you don't know, this is why you need to get help. Okay. That's, that's what we're here to do. The tax professionals, listen, the tax professional CPAs, we are your friends. We are trying to help you keep as much money so you can pay us, right? No, I'm just teasing. <laughs> but really, we're, we're here to help you keep as much of your money as possible. That's what we do. At least that's what I do. Let me say that. I can't speak for everybody else. At least that's what I do. All right, because there are so many home business owners, small business owners that wind up in tax trouble for lack of knowledge. It's not that they're not trying to do the right thing, it's they don't know the right thing to do. And by the time it's tax time, it's too late to go fix it. It just is. Okay, so I'm off this soapbox now. <laughs> So I'm off this soapbox. And so listen, um, if you need to reach out to me, y'all know where my inbox is. Yeah, I, I had to put the link in there for you to book an appointment, but you know where my inbox is. And if you need help, please, y'all, okay, y'all know me. There are, I have a few people on here that are new. I'm looking at my list of folks. But a lot of you have been on my live broadcast before. And so you know I live by the mantra, I don't want you going to sleep with a tax question on your mind. Because if it's keeping you up at night, then that's something that you need to be asking me about. I'd much rather, like I said, help you figure out how you're gonna pay me the couple hundred dollars it takes to talk to me than for you to figure out the four or five grand that it's gonna cost you to get you out of trouble, okay? That's just how I get down, all right? So yeah, so if you need me, reach out to me. I'll put the link to book a consult in uh, in the comments when I get done. But I totally love you guys. John said, do I offer psychiatric help too? I used to work on a child psychiatry ward, John. So I got a few of the, I got a few psychi psychiatry skills too, okay? <laughs> All right, you guys. So listen, if you need some help, make sure you reach out. Otherwise, you guys, thanks for uh, for everyone that just jumped on. Catch the replay. Make sure you hashtag replay so that I know that you were here. Reach out to me if you got any questions. I totally love you guys. Have a fantastic day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.